Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad Taste of Music, and today I'm listening to this Queef Jerky album. That's right, you heard it right, it's called Queef Jerky. Uh, this is a project by Nick's Not Green, uh, Dev Lemons, and it's also got Hive Mind Riley on it. You may be like, Bradley, there's so much amazing music that came out today, why are you reviewing this random ass crap? Well, because I don't know what any of this other crap is, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what any of these are. I mean, I, I recognize Gene Dawson, but... I don't know, man. None of this shit makes good content. Maybe this Jonas Brothers album. I heard Waffle House and it was horrible. But besides that, I don't know, man. There's not a whole lot to listen to. So I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta get more brownie points, all right, with uh, fellow community members, all right? So I'm listening to this. So maybe they'll look at me as cool and maybe they'll let me join their gang as like background vocals or, uh, you know, let me do a rippity rap verse over it. So, uh, you know. Yeah. The Michigan left. Yeah. Anyways, first song 20. All right. Well, I've made the I've decided private session is probably a good idea. Meth grips. Smoking chronic with the queef. Do y'all remember that trailer that was Sonic with the teeth? Virgin since Christmas, so I guess I've been married. Tell me if the price is right, I'm more like true care. So anyways, uh, I guess some more context. I believe that uh, Dev Lemons and uh, Nick is Not Green were opening up for, um, open up for Half Alive. And Tina was going to some of their shows, and so she saw saw these two jokers, uh, you know, there performing. Uh, what did I choose this? I don't know. Is that the screaming emoji? Bad on purpose, which doesn't mean it's good. I mean, I'll, I'll look at it, I guess, objectively and subjectively. I mean, the instrumental here, it's pretty chill. Sounds like some lo-fi hip-hop and the lyrics are about stick my finger in your mom's butthole. I mean, if it's an ironic project, then fine. You know what I mean? I've made a lot of ironic music. I've made a lot of music that's significantly worse than this. Like, miles and miles worse than this, but I don't know, man. For some reason, while I do actually appreciate the fact that they're just laughing and having a good time, it's not really something I'd listen to. Personally, I'd give it a low shrug to red headphones. Oh. Tina likes it. Well, well, I'm glad Tina's enjoying it. But Tina also likes Half Alive, so her opinion's invalid. Very hard to be funny in music. Yeah, and I feel like here it's, you know, if you get the jokes, if you're in the in the crowd, which I'm not, okay, and I'm I'm not angry about that, okay? All right, I, I would, it's not like I'd give this a smiley ball if I was, you know, with the cool kids. All I'm saying is, if you let me join the cool kids, all right, maybe I'd get the jokes, and then maybe you'd get a smiley ball, okay? But it's not the same thing, all right? Take the pill, faint. Instrumental is really impressive. I don't want anybody coming after me. I'm a weekend fan, I'm an ableist. I wash my hands and I take a piss. I wash my hands and I make a fist. <laughs> um, okay, that's. Oh my god. <laughs> that line was funny. That, that caught me off guard. Brookstone Brothers. I'm with your Brookstone mother. Like Shane Sandy from the episode of Friends. I look like I have no ends. DJ Kevin, we the best. Who we know? I think the ironic qualities work a lot better here. There were actually some genuine chuckles that it got out of me, but I also think that the instrumental is nice and it actually goes for a pretty lazy vibe. I think that's a lot more focused just in terms of this sounding just straight up like a scattershot painting um, of random bullshit and having fun. And I kind of understand what this project's going for. Uh, it is. It's just not trying to take itself too seriously, uh, which I feel like is infectious. So, shrug. 
Next song, Forward. I ponder of something great. My lungs will fill and then deflate. They fill with fire, exhale desire. I know it's dire, my time today. I have these thoughts so often I ought to replace a slot with what I want to In a sad way, I don't like your dog, dark. She's cool, but she's a little. Forward is, I mean, it's a short little cute track. Again, it's kind of directionless, but I appreciate the experimentation, and I think it's overall an okay listening experience. Um, some moments where I thought the autotune actually did come through as a pretty little piece to the whole experience, uh, kind of like, you know, say like on the on the Chief Keef song, Ice Cream. Then I said bye-bye nicely. Next song, LLC. Is this the single? It sounds like shit. One single gag. In new merch, reading the new part. You go to that nude beat, I go to that nude church, yeah. <laughs> I'm the Judas of the rap game, nasty. Feel out the verse like I'm feeling your boobs. The song is very long and not that funny. Dev makes good music, though. I feel like Dev is bringing the most interesting performance to this. I appreciate the uh, risk-taking, just in terms of most wild performances. I'm very mixed on this song. Well... Again, I, I don't know, man. I, it's not something to be taken all that seriously. I think it's fun to at least look at this in some sort of objective or, again, subjective way. Or just, it, in general, like, trying to judge it as a piece of art. And I honestly think that, so far, yeah, it's. I think it's getting the point across. It's just fucking around. Um, I think the production on that one was ranging between being okay and being straight dog shit. Unlistenable. Um, I think that it could use a bit more time in the grill. The red headphones. Dog. Next one, the Michigan Left title track. <laughs> Mr. Beast Burger, I just solved Mr. Beast's murder. And I'm also Johnny Flutter. I'm up like Pixar. Shoot gays, girls, you wanna know what my kicks are. Oh, yeah, I have this sound bite now. I don't get it. You always have to, and, and I do say this in case the artists who made this are looking at the chat, you have to understand that when I'm not very reactive to the music, they don't have a lot of mental stimulation, and these guys, they crack under the pressure of not a lot of mental stimulation, so they start typing. All right, so don't don't take too much offense to them. You know, I, I do encourage it, though. I encourage you guys, you know, giving your opinions. I actually do like backseat reviewers here. In my personal opinion, I don't get the jokes, but it seems like you guys are having fun. You know what I mean? So. Again, I actually really like the experimentation, but I'm not sure how much of that is coming down to Dev Lemons and Nick's, uh, Nick is Not Green's involvement. But I actually think that the final products here uh, come together a little bit better than they would if it was just basic ass shit so i'm glad that they at least took the proper steps to make it at least a little bit listenable even though i thought the michigan left sounded like some playground jokes uh with a way too fancy of a beat to match it which doesn't i don't know man i i think it's a bit of an awkward clashing but uh, there is still certainly a vibe to it it's a shrug for me hurricane blizzard DJ Kevin, we the best. Who we know? I like my life. I like my knife. Oh yeah, I like my job. Yeah, I have goals. You have. You know, you have holes. You know, I will say one thing. This reminds me of back in the day when I was like seventeen, when I was was like recording garbage music with my sister. It kind of reminds me of those days. So I do have like an admiration for it, but at the same time, like you know. Does it? It's still ass. Toes, please blow me. Nose, bleed, flow me. Black bean, Grecian Z. Really have to pee. Gotta use the toilet throne. Generation Z, more like generation phone. They're always on TikTok. I wish that they would just stop. Uh, 
provide social commentary on an album like this is always going to be a little bit, you know, bit of a weird change of pace. <laughs> Vitamin Man, DJ Khaled, bring the party in. And learn about her inspiring story. Speaking of hurricane blizzards, people are freaking out about Tim Hortons and D Dairy Queen's new collab item, the Hurricane Blizzard. <laughs> How did I know it was going to go there? All right, well, shrug. <sighs> I mean, yo, I love this, you guys. This project's great. Um, you know, if you got room, you know, to make it the quirk, queef jerky trio, you know, I got some bars. You know, I, I wrote an entire gay version of Sucker for Pain, all right, but I called it Sucker for Dick, all right? I, I feel like I could be an important contributor to the next project, truly, all right? Left, right, center. Final song. DJ Khaled! Whoa, hold on a second. Yo, this is what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Queef Jerky, Michigan left, right? Here's the page. Look at the suggested. You may also like. Bro. Five out of the six albums are mine. That's what I'm... Bro, that's what I'm saying. All right, and then you go, <laughs> Hobo Johnson alienates his fan base. Bro, that's what, bro, that's what I'm saying. All right, you gotta get, you gotta sign me on, you know? They think I'm meticulous. They call me D Green, comma, Nicholas. Ladies, yo, man, cinema, man, cinema, 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 cinema. They're not even saying words having anymore. Having sex outside of having sex at beans. Met ladies and they're nice and mean. Throughout this album, thoroughly, I think that the instrumentals bring the most emotion. I feel like they do a good job at capturing the friendship that you guys have uh, throughout this album. Because it feels like you guys are just messing around and whoever is working on this instrumental is just doing a great job at uh, taking that and packaging it. Um, I'm feeling a solid four on this project. In fact, I'd say that that's the only redeeming thing and the only thing about this project that, uh, that, that actually has any power and any punch to it. I mean, it's a meme project. You, you, you obviously don't give a shit what I have to say about it, but uh, there's like one or two jokes that were kind of funny, you know? And a lot that were just poo poo pee pee, which don't get me wrong, I like a good poo poo pee pee joke, okay? All right. Just, I don't know, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we are actually starting a new stream for the Hobson stream. 